just have a quick tip for you today. I'm going to be showing you how to install VMware Player on Linux. And specifically, I'm on Manjaro Linux at the moment. And I wanted to do this video because I actually had a couple of issues in the past with this specific software. And, you know, it just used to install, but it just will not run. Uh, there were no errors, nothing. I just didn't know why. And it drove me mad, really. I didn't find any solution online. And I came across a couple of tutorials, but nothing seemed to work. So I decided to give up and just use VirtualBox. But now that I have a quite fresh install of Manjaro, I just customized the looks. And I'm installing all the software I need. I thought to myself, you know, let's just try and see if I can figure out how to install uh, VMware Player. And I found the solution on the Arquake here, of course, so I wanted to make this video uh, just to make it easier to understand for everyone. All right, just open up your browser and let's go to the VMware uh, website and we want to download the VMware Player installer for Linux, of course. There we go, all right. So let's go to the downloads, uh, to the downloads section. Uh, and workstation player and just download the the latest version of the workstation player installer for Linux just make sure it's the latest version because the previous version won't run uh, but it's not the, the only problem uh, you need to install a couple of files uh, of course I already downloaded the installer it is in my downloads folder uh, you need to install a couple of programs uh, so I already prepared the command because I actually already did that and these are the the packages you want to install we have Fuse2, GKSU, GTKMM, uh, libcombera and then the Linux headers and uh, that's there's something to say about Linux headers uh, because you want to know the Linux kernel the version of the Linux kernel installed on your uh, machine and in my case it is uh, 4.9 you need to know that because when you run this command pacman is going to be asking you what version of linux headers you want to install and you need to select the right one so let's just go ahead it doesn't matter if you already installed a couple of packages uh, from this list you know pacman is just going to up uh, to upgrade everything so let's confirm that and then we need another package which is from AUR and so I'm using uh, Yaourt and this is the package and curses 5 compact libs and you want to select the second option here uh, because the first option is for 32-bit machines but I guess most of you will have a 64-bit machine uh, so let's just select the second option and now let's go across the the normal compiling okay uh, all right now yaourt downloads and compiles the software but we have an error here and this is not very difficult to solve but we need to make some tinkering here and uh, let's just go ahead and restart the compiling and i'll show you what what you want to do so let's just say yes when it, it asks if you want to modify the PKG build, all right? Let's find the key, the valid, the valid GPG key, and let's just select it, okay? Now, we need to add this key to our local GPG key ring, and this is basically the problem. Uh, Yao just sees this package as an untrusted package, so we need to trust it, all right? So the commands we want to run is gpg dash dash recv keys and then just paste the key, right? And gpg is going to add this key to the trusted keys queuing. So it's important now, so we can go ahead and continue the compiling. So let's close this nano buffer here. Go ahead and continue. And as you can see, now it's going to compile the package for us. Okay, so it's done compiling. We just need to go ahead and uh, install the package. And it's done. Okay, now that the package is installed, and now we need to make the VMware installer executable. So let's just, let's just go ahead and type chmode uh, plus x and then the name of the file. 
And then we need to run it. Of course, we need to run it as root because it is root's privileges to install software, of course. Now, let's just go ahead and accept the, the license agreement and just click next. Now, the VMware installer and VMware player in general actually needs the slash etc, the slash etc slash init.d folder, which is not something that Manjaro uses by default, but that's no problem. We just need to create that, okay? So let's create that folder. And then let's just type it in here. I want to check for updates for on startup. I want to join. Now we can skip the license key uh, because VMware Player is free for personal use, and just install the software. This error could just be ignored. Now, that's just one more thing we want to do. We need to install a little package that allows us to handle all of the VMware script via systemd. Because, you know, Manjaro uses systemd. That's why it doesn't have the init scripts uh, directory. Uh, so, we're going to install this package, which is from Yaourt, uh, from AUR. And the package name is VMware systemd services. And we're basically done because I guess we can already run VMware player. And it will just run normally. I'm going to use it for non-commercial use, of course. And there we go. VMware player is successfully running on Manjaro. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like if you find this content useful. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.